Hey guys, I'm back in another video, and uh, today I'll be building and reviewing the Lego R2D2. So yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, it's got some cool details and stuff. I can't wait to start building it. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the time lapse. Okay, well we got R2 here, and uh, yeah, I figured out how to uh, drop his third leg, and uh, it's looking pretty cool so far. It's got all through his legs, and I can't wait to finish this. It's looking a lot like the box now. Well, personally, I loved this R2-D2 Lego build. It was really detailed and really nice. I really love all the details. And it came with this cool plaque, I guess, commemorating R2-D2 over the years. And it had a 50 years of Lucasfilm uh, little thing, which was really cool. It just looks really nice. There's a bunch of elements, but they just have a bunch of like really cool details, like uh, Luke's lightsaber here. 
from Return of the Jedi. It just looks really nice. I do wish they had a little Technic component, whoopsie, that uh, would shoot out his lightsaber, but uh, it's fine, you know? It's still cool that we have Luke's lightsaber. But what's also cool is you can have his little electric, what it, was it called, shocker thing come out uh, by pressing like, if I move this over, you have these little things you can push. When you push them, the little shocker comes out and you can do that for the other one as well. Just like this. And that's pretty cool. On the previous version, I believe there was a buzz saw, which would be pretty cool to get. So I do wish we got that. But I'm happy with uh, the components that we have. It looks pretty nice. But when RTD2 has a third leg out, it just looks really, really nice. Especially because they spent so much time on the leg detailing, it just fits in really well, and I think it looks really nice personally. Uh, the head detailing on the back is all right. I have to say, these little Technic thingamajiggers, they don't look the best. I actually looked it up on Google, and that's actually how it's supposed to be, so I didn't mess up on that, which is... I mean, this looks kind of awkward, I guess, but you know, whatever. Besides that, there's not really much I have to you know, critique about because so, it's just a, a really good set in general. And if you were wondering, yeah, he can move. They have these little things on the bottom, which allow him to glide over smooth surfaces like a table. When I originally got this, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but it actually looks so cool. And I'm really happy that I did get it. Oh. I actually forgot one thing. You can have these flip open and have his uh, thing on top uh, come out. Uh, I do wish that it had the little thingamajigger that allows him to like move the ship and stuff from the Clone Wars. And I also wish that we got a jetpack or you know the rocket thingamajiggers on R2 because that would be really nice to see. And the, the shocker thing, it it doesn't look that great. It's not really that accurate. So I might just change that myself because it's a really simple thing to change. But still, I would have liked Lego to add a nicer thing, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked, make sure to comment down below uh, what, what your favorite upcoming Lego set will be. It doesn't have to be Lego Star Wars. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.